What is up, guys? Backpack Kid here. For any of you guys that was wondering about my shoe collection, I'm going to show you guys right now. Well, let's get straight into it. These are my personal favorite. The Yeezy slippers that I have seen in a couple of my videos. These are very fun to wear and comfortable to, and they're very funny to look at. So, yeah, I like to wear those a lot. Um... My Pumas. I wear my Pumas a lot too. They're just normal Pumas. I think you're getting a little small though. I'll just take out the sole. Alright. We come over here. These are my play shoes. These are LeBrons. Let me get this little light. These are LeBrons. These are my play shoes. Like. It was snowing a couple of months ago, so I wore these, and they got all dirty, and I just washed them, and yeah. It's not really something I'd wear with an outfit or anything, though. These are my futures. These are pretty dirty, because I wore them when it was raining one time. I did not know that it was going to rain, and it made everything all muddy, and it just messed them up. So I don't really wear them anymore, but I still can. These are one of my favorites, the custom um, Air Forces, Louis Vuitton Supreme. I got these from a boy, Glow Capital, Glow dot Capital. Look him up on Instagram. He's pretty cool. He makes customs, custom vans, custom Air Forces. But yeah, these are these are one of my favorite shoes. These are pretty fly. Now let's go into my closet. Oh, watch this. Hold on. Um, where am I gonna put up the camera? Um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna open up my closet. And then I'm going to set my phone down and watch this. Watch this, hold on. Let me set up a camera somewhere. Watch this, watch this. Not that, not that. This. They are clap activated, so is my fan. And yeah. Pretty fly, actually. So I don't have to use a silly remote that came with. I just have the um, clapper thing right here. Um, you just, yeah, there you go. Um, you just hook things up to it, and then you just clap and turn things on and off. So there go the lights. Kind of fly. Uh, I just got I just got these lights from Amazon. I got the clapper thing from SCMTV.com. So yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, first up we have. I think these are Puma Skies, Puma Contact, Puma Sky. All right, yeah, these are my Puma Skies. Uh, I like to wear these a lot, but I recently wore them when it was raining and they got a little dirty. So I'm just gonna have to clean them. And then wear them right back again. Yes, I like these. They're pretty nice. Let me put these back. Let's go over here. Oof. These are my Timberlands. I like these very much. They are very exotic. White and red. I like them a lot. Never seen anybody with red and white Timberlands. That's why I like them. Oof. Let me just... Alright, okay. These are my... These are my Uggs for men. Because it's winter right now and it's pretty cold. So, a pair of winter boots is good to have. I wear these a lot, too. Let's put these back. Oof. Next, we have, okay, let's just, um, let's get one shoe in this time. Alright, these are my Fluxes, Adidas Flux. I think these are Galaxy Purple. Yeah, these are, these are kind of play shoes, but I also wear them with outfits too and stuff. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. Let's put this one back. Ooh. These are, okay. Ooh. I think I might start doing shoe reviews for YouTube. That'd be pretty cool, right? These are my Vans High. I do not like Vans very much. I'm going to be honest. 
they're just kind of uncomfortable to me, and I'm not really a skateboarder, so, um, you know, vans are really for skateboarding, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I still wear them sometimes, but they're just the, um, yeah, these are just the least comfortable shoes I think I have. Oh, let's put those back there. Actually, no, let me put them normally. All right. Let's just start here. Okay, these are my Vans Low. I like these better than the Vans High, but they're still a little uncomfortable. It might just be because they might be a little too small. I'm not sure, but if that is it, then I'll just get these in a bigger size because they're like checkerboard Vans. All right, we go over here. My blue Air Force Ones with gum bottoms. I wear these a lot too. I think they look nice. I creased them a little bit right there. Tiptoeing too much. They're high top as well. My only high top forces. And they got the cool strap that goes all the way around. Ooh. Alright, these are one of my favorite Air Forces. I'm not sure what these are actually called, but they are camo and tan. I really like these. Go good with a lot of stuff, and they still look really awesome. Alright, okay, these I used to wear a lot. My Spider-Man foams, but they are way too small for me now, so... I might have to donate them or sell them or give them away. I'm not sure yet. But they, these don't even really deserve to be on this list because of how little I wear them. I haven't worn these in forever. I don't even, I forgot they was down there too. But yeah, I guess I might as well show them to you. All right. These are probably one of my favorites too. These are my Jeremy Scott's. All black. They have wings. You can Velcro them. To tie them as well. They get a little dirty, but they're black, so they're easy to keep clean. I'm glad they. If these were white, it would be a lot harder to clean. But yeah, Jeremy Scott's are a, are a good cop. Good cop. They are from the um, brand Adidas, if you didn't know. Oof. Okay, these are probably one of my favorites, too. Oh, my, I am on 20% low battery. Here, I think I'm, I'm going to put this on pause real quick while I put my phone on low battery. Alright, okay, we're back. Alright, we're back. These are my off-white Vapor Maxes. The cool thing, okay, I actually want to tell you a little story about these. Um, okay, so I went to New York to uh, do something with Inside Edition. And so, you know, I just stopped by the Nike campus they have. Um, and, like, one of the guys was like, hey, I know you. And then I was like, yeah, hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he brought me up to his little secret room with my manager, of course. I wouldn't I wouldn't just go along with some random stranger that works at a Nike store. Um, so he showed me these. He was like, hey, are you interested in these? I didn't know what Off-White was at the time, so I didn't really know how much they actually were worth. So I, so I set a size lower because I thought I was going to use them for play shoes. So these are getting kind of small on me now. So I might have to sell them, sadly. But yeah, these are one of my favorite shoes. Actually, I'm going to try these on right now. Oof. Let me see. I took out the sole, too, because with the sole, like, they're really painful. But the sole is so big on them that um, taking them out gives a lot, of, give, gives a lot more room. Oof. Yeah, I could still probably wear these for another three, four months, and then I'm going to have to sell them. Because I don't want those off-whites that are too small sitting in my closet. But yeah, these are pretty cool. And then I, after I found out they're worth I was like, whoa, yeah, these are definitely not play shoes anymore. All right. These are my Bordeaux 12s. I got these in L.A. I went to a flight club to get these. I was gonna get um, another pair of 12s. I forgot. I forgot which ones I was gonna get, but they were out of stock in my size, so I got the next coolest thing I thought they had. And so I've only worn these like three times because I got them pretty recently. 
All right. Next up. You have probably never seen me wear these yet. These are my win like 96 11s. Yes. Because I am not going to wear them until my soul protectors come. It's like a little sheet you put on your soles so they don't get dirty when you walk around. I'm not going to wear these until those come. So I don't have to get the soles dirty so you can resell them for more. I have not worn these not once yet. I am wait I got these from GOAT. And I am just waiting for those soul protectors to come so I can wear them. I cannot wait to wear these. These are my Carolina Blues. These are, I, I wear these sometimes now. I mean, I wear them a lot now, but it's just that, like, since they're kind of white, they're pretty white, I've kind of messed them up a little bit. And so I just was, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to wear these for dancing shoes. So I just, I don't really care about cleaning them anymore. I just dance in them. I like, like 11s are solid toe, so they're really easy to tiptoe in. So, yeah, it's tiptoe and they get really dirty. So, they're just my dancing shoes. You can't really tell that shoes are dirty in a dance video. So, it's a so win-win. I get good tiptoeing shoes and we have to know that they're dirty. So, I mean, y'all yeah, do, of course, now. But, see, if I had silver tickets on these, it'd be better. These are my second best tiptoeing shoes. But these I'm going to actually keep clean. These are my cool gray eights. These are probably one of my favorite as well. I like to wear these a lot. I'm, I'm definitely keeping these clean because they're suede. Suede is really hard to keep clean. But I got these back in L.A. I forgot the name of the store, actually. It was something that I've never seen before. I just saw them and I was like, well, those look cool. So I just got them. All right, we're almost done. Ooh, yes. These are my... I'm not actually sure what these are. I think they're called... I think they're called Dark Stucco 5s, but I just call them Camo 5s because it's shorter and they're camo. Like they got cool 3M lights, so when you take a photo with them, they um, they like flash in the camera. But these are suede. I wore these one day when it rained, so they're a little messed up with water stains because when you get water on suede, it messes them up. And you have to do a lot to clean them, so I did my best, but... Yeah, these are exceptional to wear. No, I don't wear them, wear them a lot. Okay, I wear these a lot. These are my Blue Suede Fives. I got these the day they came out. I rushed to the mall because I wanted to make sure that they did not sell out because it was the day a brand new pair of Jordans came out. So you really got to rush to get these. Or any Jordans that first come out. I like Fives. They're easy to tiptoe in. I'm doing a good job of keeping them clean. Yeah, fives are probably one of my favorite Jordans. Ooh. Pure Money Fours. Uh, who remembers when these first came out? They're a little crease, but that's fine. These were so hot when they first came out, buddy. Everybody got a pair of these. I don't even know. I don't even know why. But, you know, I, uh, I just went with the... I just went with the flow and got a pair of myself. They're pretty they're pretty cool. I don't wear them a lot because they're all white and I don't want to get them dirty, but yeah. Okay, these are even smaller than the foam posits, the Spider-Man foams. These are the alternate 89 fours. Alternate 89. Um, these are 6.5. The the foams are 7.5, so these do not fit me at all anymore. Like I don't even know why I have these in there either. So these I'm also going to have to get rid of. These are kind of dirty, yeah. The, yikes, the laces are yellow. I don't even know how. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely going to have to get rid of these. And then last but not least, my ones, yes. These are, um, I'm not sure what ones these are called either, because... Foot Locker does not have names online. It just says Air Jordan Retro One. Retro One. Um, I'm not into ones so much. They're not easy to dance in. Um, 
But, I mean, I guess they, they, they look cool, so... Yeah, I wear these every once in a while. Because... Uh, I was, like, having a pair of ones on me. Alright, guys, and that concludes my shoe collection. Thank you for watching.